This is Chocolate City, a district of Guangzhou that is home to tens of thousands of African merchants, as well as Uyghurs, Turks, and Chinese economic migrants. Most Africans come to Guangzhou for trade by exporting cheap Chinese goods, such as clothes and mobile phones, they can make big money. And it's in this bustling trading hub where African men are meeting and marrying Chinese women in untold numbers and starting families with their mainland brides. <laughs> Apart from their expertise in running small businesses, Africans are bringing their music, food and religion to Guangzhou. The Post recently spent a day hanging out with the Boucher Sky, a garment trader by day and Nigerian hip-hop artist by night. It wasn't an easy role, you know, for an African like me to come across a Chinese lady. Having her on my side really helped me a long way because uh, China is not a bad place to be. But the most important thing in China is that the language barrier. If you have a way to overcome this, that could be very awesome for you. So I think my wife really had an impact to my life. Number one, in my business. Number two, in my social life in China. Uh, then I decided when I, uh, before she get to know me, I met her to know my talent. As more Africans and Chinese mix, their children are integrating into society. The Hoiling Integrated Kindergarten in Baiyun is attended by African, Chinese, and mixed children. Unlike their fathers, Afro-Chinese children born in China have full citizenship, allowing them full access to public schools. Amina has a Chinese mother and African father and exemplifies for some the seamless integration of Afro-Chinese children in Guangzhou. She speaks fluent English and Mandarin, can write Chinese, loves Hello Kitty, and her best friend is a local Chinese student. She, like most of the mixed children in Guangzhou, is under 10 years old. However, while children like Amina are integrating, their parents have a tougher time due to the language barrier and the likelihood of a diminishing African population in the region due to slowly rising labour costs and the difficulty in becoming a permanent resident, according to a Hong Kong anthropologist who has studied the African migration. And eventually, Amina's generation will reach adulthood, and they too will have to decide where is the land of opportunity in which they can best succeed. Oh,